Hi, my name is Caitlin Manns and I am a senior at Franklin College studying exercise science. Along with two of my peers, we conducted a research study which investigated the effects of blood flow moderation training on muscle circumference and muscle hypertrophy in the quadriceps of Division III collegiate swimmers. We asked nine Franklin College swimmers to participate in a month-long study which consisted of 20-minute pool sessions three days a week. Prior to the intervention, a pretest was administered to each participant in where his or her dominant quadricep was measured from the ilical crest to the top of the patella. Their circumference of the quadricep was taken at the midpoint and an ultrasound was performed at the same spot in order to determine the amount of subcutaneous fat. After that, the nine participants were divided into two groups, an experimental group and a control group. Both groups completed 20-minute pool sessions, which consisted of various kicking styles at various speeds and time intervals. The difference between the experimental group and the control group is that the experimental group wore pressurized cuffs at the most proximal point of the leg while kicking, while the control group just kicked without those cuffs. After the intervention was complete, a post-test was administered where the same measurements for muscle circumference and muscle hypertrophy were um, taken. At the moment, the participants have completed both the intervention and the post-intervention measurements. However, we are still deciphering the data. While looking at the data, there is a trend in the raw data. Um, both groups' quadricep circumference have decreased but we still need statistical confirmation to, term, to, to determine if this is significant or not. So I have a couple questions that I want to address. And one of those is, how did we measure the pressure in those pressurized cuffs for the um, experimental group? So what we used is we used a three second capillary refill method to determine if the cuffs were correct or not. And while this is deemed accurate by other researchers, I believe that if we use an exact pressure using milligrams of mercury, um, we would have different results. And this is because just like any other part of exercise, nothing is cookie cutter. And the three second cap capillary refill is a great method for standard standardizing, but some people may require more or less pressure when it comes to um, using these cuffs. And this is, for instance, if I had a higher fat percentage than someone else, I would need a, a higher pressure to see the same results. Also, we chose to investigate the effects of blood flow moderation on the quadricep of the legs. And we did this in part because the legs are more easily isolated while swimming. If we had chosen the arms, the swimmers would have been asked to pull, and this is where you only use your arms, which sounds easy, but it is a tendency to have a light flutter kick or your um, legs going back and forth like this. And it's it would skew the data a little bit. But we believe, I believe that we would have seen a higher increase of muscle circumference in the arms having we chose to measure the arms because there are, there's less daily activity um, associated with it. Uh, for instance, you're walking constantly, so that could contribute to an increase of muscle growth. Another question that I had um, was that adherence to our program. Um, adherence did not seem to uh, play a huge role in our results. Overall, it was very evenly distributed um, across participants and groups. We had equal people missing one day um, in the experimental and the control group. And finally, if we were to do this study over again, I would like to test the participants outside of their swimming season. Um, we have to account for their typical practices and weight room exercises that would contribute to their muscle, muscle hypertrophy and increased uh, quadriceps circumference. Thank you.